on trawlers, which are actually um, uh, uh, trawlers, uh, um, fish processing factories in deep seas. So all that stuff is coming back to us that, in fact, nature does not permit. Nature does not permit GMOs. Nature, what are GMOs? Genetically modified organisms or genetically manipulated organisms, seeds, animals. Genetically modified organisms, the way they are producing is not permitted in nature. Humans, due to their ingenuity over thousands of years, figured out that they can make, they can select certain seeds and animals, they can breed them together to make them more efficient, cow to give more milk, grass to give wheat, rice, and so forth. All this eight to 14, 15,000 years ago, this, these discoveries were made, but people remained with nature. They did not temper. If they did temper, through selective breeding or even hybridization. For example, they figured out you can cross a donkey and a horse and get a mule because the mule looks like both the parents and is hardier than both and it has genitalia, but it's sterile. It cannot produce another mule. So therefore, you cannot cross widely divergent species. If you do, it dies by itself. Nature does not let it um, reproduce. Now, in genetic, for genetic modification, the kind we're talking about, and the companies like to say, oh, it's been going on for thousands of years. This is a lie. Sure, you can make poodles, you can make racehorses by selective breeding, and you can make uh, mules, but you cannot cross a uh, human gene and E. coli bacteria and make bovine growth hormone and inject it back into the cows. It may be all right to do that if you want to make human insulin because you have a disease and you were giving pig insulin or calf insulin. Now you can give... Uh, uh, this insulin made by bacteria, that to, uh, may be acceptable. But you cannot do that to produce milk. And you cannot do that to produce actual animals, genetically modified animals, fish. The U.S. has already approved genetically modified fish. And now they're on to making goats and cows to make genetically modified products from them sera, globulins, antibodies to give to people. And when that is done, they want you to be able to eat those animals for meat. And this is unconscionable. This is not permitted in under natural law. And with this, the companies and their captive uh, politicians are saying they're going to bring prosperity and urbanization but what have we done so far? When I first came to Canada 50 years ago, 25% of Canadian population used to be in, fact, in, in family farming. Now, it's less than 1.5%. I don't think the US is much different or Europe is much different. The average age of a Canadian farmer is over 60 years. So I reckon within the next five to seven years, there will be no factory farm, uh, family farms left in Canada. The same will maybe to a lesser extent become true in the United States because the way things are going. All you're getting is imported labor from Mexico and Caribbean for picking hand-picking fruits and vegetables to uh, uh, bring, uh, and that brings other problems of immigration and so on and reaction among people and joblessness and so forth. We're creating huge problem. In India, 
which when I left India, 90% of its population was in agriculture. Now it's come down to 60%, between 60 and 70%. What has it produced? 30% Indian people have become very wealthy and also sick in health. Rich in pocket, poor in body. That's what is happening there and India and China and other countries. Wherever the food system is copied, what are we getting? Cancer, obesity, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, uh, reproductive disorders, immune disorders, attention deficit in children, uh, 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 diabetes type, uh, uh, diabetes uh, type two, all kinds of diseases which used to be rare. Now there are pandemics. Forty percent of Indian population is, is diabetic, and they're predicting it might become eighty percent. Is that prosperity? It has also created in all the countries, including America, and it's doing so. Is urban poverty everywhere? Urban poverty and now joblessness, and this is at the point of violence. And it's not. I'm not kidding. I hope I'm wrong. I think we are at the point of President Obama. Either two years or six years, this is the end of the line. It is the end of the line. If there's end of the line for food, is the end of the line for a nation. And that is what America, Canada, Europe, and quickly followed by the rapidly developing countries doing the same thing. The whole world is on a rapid course of collapse. Having given all this negative, because it's a horrible story. There are people reacting on both sides. Corporations, of course, have to say what they're saying because they have to make money with or without lies. But their captive governments are also telling lies. So instead of implementing existing law, Food and Drugs Act, they're saying we're going to create new laws, all under the guise of food safety. They come under various uh, numbers and uh, in the U.S., for example, um, uh, S510 or N uh, or National Animal Identification System or uh, uh, Enhanced Food Safety. Uh, all these numbers are all coming from President Obama under his administration as now this is to improve the broken system. The system is not broken by itself. The governments are responsible for breaking it, for not implementing the existing law. And so instead of doing that, they're not backing down on factory farming. They're not backing down on, on, uh, on um, uh, these large slaughterhouses. They're not backing down on globalization of food production. They're not backing down on, uh, uh, on in, uh, putting all these toxic materials uh, uh, into the food system, but they want to create a new laws so that we can trace worldwide the source of trouble. And then we'll do something. Meanwhile, people will not grow poultry outdoor. People will not touch food. People will not grow food. You cannot hold, you cannot grow, you cannot store, you cannot transport, you cannot do any of those things to food unless it's done uh, uh, by